Hello and welcome you guys to a, another Cyber Dragon deck profile. This is my updated uh, Cyber Dragon post Bosch uh, deck. So uh, I finally got my testing in for the deck uh, and it did fairly well. I got second place at our locals yesterday. So I figured I'd share the updated version. So let's get onto this. Uh, if you hear anything, that's my cats being dicks in the background. Uh, so first up, three Cyber Dragons, of course. Uh, I'm going to kind of go through this quick. I want to try and actually beat a lot of my previous shots. Uh, three Cyber Dragon Dre's. Uh, he's your Banish Protection and also uh, Rank 5 Player. Uh, three Cyber Dragon Cores. Uh, Core is your uh, monster to kind of get plays going. He gives you a cyber card, uh, spell or trap, and as well you can banish him from the graveyard if you've got no monsters and your opponent has monsters. So basically, uh, cyber dragon from the deck using him from the grave uh, in a generalized cyber dragon fashion. Uh, two cyber dragons, Zvi, Zvi, whatever. Uh, he just kind of counts as two more cyber dragons in the graveyard which is very good as well if somebody were to actually hit cyber dragon in your deck with something like prohibition you can still play him normally and you just don't bother changing him to a cyber dragon because he is uh... forced activation for that uh... next is a cyber eltonin uh... very very high powered board clear uh... takes away everything you have for resources in your graveyard though but uh, you can easily stock that up with Rampage now. Uh, next up, three Cyber Valleys. Cyber Valley is your quick go-to for a lot of stuff uh, in this deck. He is your major draw power. He's your major draw power in this deck. So you use him to uh, stop battles as well as uh, to kind of just screw with your opponent or get more cards in that way. You can also recycle stuff through with his third effect, which is kind of handy. Uh, up next, uh, right now I'm proxying this until mine comes in the mail. I was using uh, somebody else's at our tournament last night, though. Uh, it's an Electromagnetic Turtle. Uh, before Bosch, this was not a very good option. Uh, but after uh, Bosch has come out, this thing is an amazing card, and should be put into like Cyber Dragon decks because of a Rampage. Rampage being able to send light machine types, which it is, uh, to the graveyard from your deck. You can immediately put this in the grave so you've got protection for you know one battle phase. Uh, next one, Honest. Uh, Honest is very handy. Uh, running one to two is suggestible. Uh, occasionally a second one is not a bad idea. My opponent uh, actually at one point uh, it was actually our pepper eight player. He uh, forbidden chalice one of my valleys, then attacked it, thinking he could get through. I honested, and it took me a second to remember that he added a chalice to me, so I got an extra four hundred, and he killed his monster off, and mine stayed, so I could use it the next turn. Uh, Two Maxis. Uh, Maxi is one of those that really does help the deck out. Uh, if your opponent's playing like Pepe and you get his first turn, you can just sit there and you can get all the gains from them, or you can force your opponent to slow down and uh, leave themselves pretty wide, pretty well open because they don't want to give you all that draw power. Uh, three Power Bonds. Power Bond being your staple fusion. Uh, card for this deck uh, next to Overload, which is the next one at 2. Uh, Overload at 2 is what you want anymore for this. Uh, you don't want too many Overloads just because they banish instead of uh, sending like the Grave. So even if you're doing it straight from the field, they'll still banish. Uh, but Overload is very useful for this still. Uh, gives you your Dark Machine. But Power Bond doubles Overload, you can then follow up to get a second monster out really handy. Uh, polymerization, just run the one. Uh, makes it really easy to just try, because it gives you uh, six options for fusion, not including contact. 
So very quick outs to a lot of stuff. Uh, very quick fusion power. Uh, Cybernetic fusion support. This came in key for me last night as well. So uh, this came in key for me last night. Uh, along with my power bonds, uh, use it to be able to grave play. So my opponent would pretty much think I had nothing, but I'd draw into either the fusion support or the power bond, and the other one I'd have. Uh, I'd activate it, cut my life points down in half, but then uh, power bond out whatever I needed, which in the case of Rampage uh, is much better now because you only take 21 at the end phase which is a lot easier to survive than the 28 or 4,000 that I usually do. Uh, next is... Oh. Next is three Cyber Repair Plants. Uh, repair Plant being your staple search and recycle card if necessary. Uh, very, very handy for a lot of plays in this deck. Uh, you literally get uh, Cyber Eltonin from your deck to your hand to use in a instant uh, if you use this you know which makes it really handy or you can go and protect yourself with like a uh, valley very easily and such uh, next up limiter removal uh, you can only run one if you run two I don't know if I even would but uh, limiter removal is like an OTK card you use this thing to just kind of power yourself up to that point then uh, you, you just strike through with your monsters and you, you can easily get like your OTK because your monsters are all uh, doubled up in attack. Um, next up is two machine duplications. Use this on core to get uh, two cyber dragons or two cores if somebody decides to negate it, which in turn, you know, still two more cyber dragon monsters. Uh, it doesn't really hurt in all cases. Uh, or you can use it on valley to get. Uh, extra protection or draw power for a turn so you can use this for very very high power you, you know uh, strike against your opponent uh, next foolish burial because uh, core works best in graveyard as well as uh, using it with uh, cyber repair plant you can first turn use repair plant by using foolish burial to put something in your graveyard then repair plant will let you add something to your hand from your deck so free choice on that one, which is really handy. Uh, next is two instant fusions. Uh, at myself from one uh, because I saw the potential in it uh, against decks where I have trouble, like Yusenju's. Uh Seeing as how this doesn't require anything, and I can go into a lot of my plays off of this too, uh, like going into uh, the I can flat out destroy my opponent's. Uh, cards with a Panzer Dragon, or I can use Panzer Dragon as part of an XZ uh, with Dre. Uh, so very handy that way. All it costs is a thousand. Uh, Fusion Conscription. I run one of just because it does hinder, but it's also very damn good because you can recycle from your graveyard, or you can go ahead and take one from your deck. If you go from grave, all of the Cyber Dragons in the deck count as Cyber Dragon. Uh, from the deck, all you can grab is the uh, originals. So, very handy for a recycler. Uh, then I run a Regeki, which one of my friends always says that it's bad in this format, you know. So, I like to run Regeki just to mess with him. Uh, because if he's going to sit there and say that Regeki is bad, might as well use it on him. And I did that and wiped out his field and swung through for game. So, uh, don't always take it at face value. Uh, one Twin Twister, uh, very good, you know, uh, power card. If your opponent has, like, a stock up, that you can just blow up their crap. Uh, you can destroy one or two cards, your choice, uh, but you always have to discard a card, which, in this case, you'd want to use this with, like, a Cyber Dragon Core. Put Core in Graveyard, so you can go into play off of core. Uh, onto the traps is Cyber Network. Network being your staple card. Uh, I only, I've only i changed myself to one use just because it makes it uh, so I can run a couple other cards, make it a little bit faster. Uh, but 
if I need to, I can also recycle my network through with my uh, valleys. That they, they will keep me from losing out on that. Uh, then what I pulled last night from our prizes was a solemn strike, and I decided to throw this in instead of uh, malevolent catastrophe. Uh, I I made an attempt with malevolent catastrophe. I got it against our Pepe player, and never once got to use it against him. Uh, partially because when I cited in, I cited uh, Magical Springs, and I got two of them on the first turn, and I wound up using uh, one on my turn, one on his turn. So I locked myself from being able to destroy his uh, spells and traps, which really sucked, but yeah, worked out nicely. So, uh, on to the next part. So, uh, one Cyber End Dragon, uh, classic staple, piercing, uh, 4,000 attack, very good. Uh, one Cyber Twin Dragon, in case you go with two, you can throw this out uh, as a 56 speeder and gets two attacks, so you can easily just break through your opponent's lineup. Uh, although you still got to watch out for the 28 Backlash uh, from Powerbond. Uh, three Rampage, Rampage being the newest uh, staple to this deck, uh, literally can save your bacon in every case because this thing is a back row destruction and uh, pretty much restocks itself for Overload Fusion, which is very handy. Uh, one Gamera Tech Overdragon. Uh, Overdragon I actually did use last night to demolish my opponent at one point, and uh, yeah, I, I was like halfway through my deck, like most of my resources in the graveyard. I drew uh, Power Bond and Network, and it's like, or not Network, uh, Power Bond and Fusion Support. And I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and just do this. High powered, go. I had like 64 original attack, and it was double because of the Power Bond. I was like, attack one, game. And he had like, three other monsters for me to attack still. I was like, I'm just going to go for a game off this one. So, yeah. Uh, two Fortress. Uh, tried using this on our Cosmo player. He he wound up beating me in the first round. Or in the Yeah, we were, we were first round, me versus our Cosmo player. And uh, it was more so because I couldn't really stop a lot of his stuff. It was... Uh, a bit of an issuing point for me trying to face him because he was able to do a eight monster attack against me and just wipe out my entire life points in one shot. Uh, I couldn't do anything to stop it because it was uh, first turn. Uh, so yeah, it's really bad. Uh, up next is Barbaroid. Uh, I got to use him once last night against our Cosmo player. And immediately, he uh, Cosmojoed it off the field. It was the most depressing thing. I finally got to use this card. Was about to fuck him up, and boom. Cosmojo. Terrible, terrible card to have to face. Uh, Parasycroid didn't use this at all last night. Although, thinking about it, I probably could have it a few points because this thing is very good. Uh, power bonded out. Uh, you can use... Any of your cards with this one, uh, Cyber Dragons, or uh, you can just go with the very simple use of, uh, you could use like two Valleys as well, or any uh, pairings that you have in your hand that are the same. Uh, you can do that with them. Uh, so yeah, it works very nicely. Uh, two Panzer Dragons. I upped myself in the one I originally ran because I thought this was a good idea. Uh, it, it's very strong and it can really help. Uh, especially since it does give you a flat destruction against the card. Any hard, essentially. Uh, so you just knock out whatever is in your way. Uh, up next, XC's uh, two Cyber Dragon Novas. Uh, you use this for your generalized Nova stuff, you know. Uh, increase the attack, revivals. Uh, if it's destroyed, you can get a free uh, fusion monster. Oh, and uh, finally, uh, you can rank up into Infinity with it, and then Infinity can uh, steal your opponent's stuff and negate pretty much 
anything at lower than the counter trap. All right. Um, so the, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just clear this out, and let's go ahead and do this. Thank you guys for watching. Oh wait, no, I probably should probably actually do this before I go. Uh, three tokens because Rainbow Dash tokens. Hell yeah. Uh, extra deck or I mean side deck. Uh, two magical springs. Uh, used them actually last night for once. Uh, good against pendulums because you can get extra cards. Uh, two gravity blasters. Gravity blaster is very good for stopping your opponent's effects. Uh, anything that likes to play off of battles, you can just knock out their crap and they can't do anything about it. Uh, two forbidden lance. I'm uh, still trying to figure out if it's best to put this main deck or side deck. I can sit there and I can negate my... Er, I can stop my opponent from uh, targeting my monsters with spells or traps, but at the same time, I can also use this as a defense and knock out my opponent's attack by 800, putting them either low enough for uh, damage or killing their monster, or possibly saving myself. Uh, two mistaken accusations. Use this if you know what to hit in your opponent's deck, or uh, if you're playing like a mirror match, or in my case, if I'm playing Pepe, I can although my Pepe player knows not to play Infinity against me, I could uh, put Infinity on the field, hit it with Mistaken Accusation, and then my opponent can't play Infinity, only I can. Uh, really handy that way. Uh, two DNA Surgery, in case you want to uh, just clear their field as machines. Very easy that way. Uh, one Royal Decree. Uh... Trap negation, uh, we don't really have much of an issue with traps so much anymore, but it's still going to be a presence, especially with uh, the counter traps going to be out everywhere now, uh, or trap holes too. Uh, traps done, if you want to try to push for game and you don't know about your opponent's back row, you can throw this in, keep yourself safe from your opponent for the turn. And then lastly, uh, and the band played on. Good against any XZ decks. Uh, very, very easy to knock out their crap or anything like that. Um, also very good against Pendulum decks since a lot of them focus on uh, between 1 to 3 levels. Uh, you can just stop them from being able to do extras. Because as soon as one hits the field, they can't put another one on the field. The opponent can't special summon anything of that same level. So, yeah. Very good that way. Alright, so... Uh, this is the updated Cyber Dragon deck. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to see, I'm, I will consider it. Uh, I've got a few other decks. I'm probably going to be putting up a uh, DD deck profile somewhere, sometime later uh, as well, which uh, has gotten me second place. Uh, the only person I kept losing to was our Pepe player, which... Today I beat it, or last night I beat in uh, the tournament with Cyber Dragons for once. Uh, but uh, being able to just pretty much continuously beat down a lot of decks with the DDs uh, due to their high consistency really helps. Uh, but yes, yeah, so if there's anything you guys are wondering about, let me know. Leave comments down below if there's any questions, and I will respond back to you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.